market update here on the second. I'm just going to go over the indexes in this video, give you an idea of where I think SPY is going to bottom at. You can kind of see it here. Let's go to the 15 minute time frame. So we get this ABC move right to the 1.61 fib. And what happens? We, bo we bounce. Um, the bounces, they took about the same amount of time, about six days, six, seven days. So I have this labeled as AB. Um, so there's two different possibilities now. Is this going to end up being a five wave move down? Or is this going to end up being an ABC move? Those are the two possibilities I see. I don't see this as a five wave move. So where is the 1.61 fib of the A wave? Sitting here at 520. Where is the parallel line taking us to? 528. So this is a demand zone that I've been looking at. Makes a lot of sense for this to happen pretty quickly um, over the next week. I think there's probably another week of pain. So we got this move down. Let's just see where the 1.61 fib is. It's at 530, but we are down pre-market at 537. Takes us right to 527. So I think that there's a chance that this just dips in the morning. We bounce big and then come down here over the next week down to 527. That is my target for the first A wave. After that, I'm looking for a bounce. That and then what happens after the bounce? One more big move down. So if we go to 527, you're going to see a bounce back up to minimum 545, um, probably in late August, early September, based on seasonality. And then you're going to see that final move down. The 1.61 fib of 527 is at 505. And if you go back to my videos from a month ago, I've been calling for this weekly demand zone to be hit at some point what's going on we're hitting it we're gonna hit it eventually and what's gonna happen after that that would be the fourth wave so we still have that giant move higher gotta put put things in perspective so this is not the end of the world um, but this is probably gonna last through September I think maybe even into October the election will probably be a catalyst for a big move higher. Don't know what's going to happen, but it could be a catalyst. So that's what I'm looking for over the next week, down to 527. Bounce back to minimum 545. Could go to this. Oh, that, that gap fill is already filled, I guess. Anyway, 545, anywhere in this range, and then down here to probably 505, I would say. Probably into October. So that's SPY. And just, you know, looking at the chart gives you a little bit um, better view and takes your emotions out of it. Now you kind of have an idea of what you need to do, um, what to look for. I'd probably be buying a dip around this area. Let's go to the standard deviations. We're already like way out of the standard deviations. Uh, we're getting right at the very edge. This is probably going to go down to three standard deviations and then we're going to have a big bounce back. A big big bounce back so 527 on QQQ a little bit different I think this is actually already finished a five wave move I think that this is gonna do this to be honest a B down here and then we're gonna see something like this that's my best guess based on spy um, I don't think that this has a chance of being a, an extension that would go too far it's possible but it would take it to 420, and I don't think SPY is going that low. So that is what I'm looking for on QQQ. Maybe 443. Um, this could end up being an ABC move. 
We'll see if we get a bounce, though. We need to get a bounce. Down here to um, 443. So neither one of them look good over the next couple of months into October, November. But this is seasonality. This happens every year. So just get ready. Um, this is the next spot I'd be thinking about buying SPY right here, which is 529 to 525. Not that far away, about 1.5%. And, uh, yeah, those are the indexes. I'll do a quick look at Tesla and maybe NVIDIA. So Tesla, 216. We're going a little bit lower on um, the S&P and QQQ. This is probably going to fill the gap here at 212, maybe come down a little bit lower. You can see the parallel line from AB ends here at like 207. This can be a lot of different things, though. Um, you can watch my last video. If this ends up being ABC, you could see new highs after that, but probably not based on SPY and QQQ. Again, I think I'm looking for this. Going into October. So, 207. Uh, let's just look at where the 0.5 Fib is. So minimum 236, and then you're looking for that final move down. Let's say we go to 245. You could be coming. We're probably coming down here to 185, 190 before it's all said and done, and then we get that final move up to 350, 400. So I think I'm actually just going to leave it at that. Those are the indexes. Those are Tesla. I gave you the general um, direction. Of what I'm looking for, so SPY to 525, 529, uh, QQQ probably going to do an expanded flat, but we'll see. And yeah, everything is bearish on the on the options with um, black box. You can see here tons of puts. Um, they're all dated like on the ninth, though. There are some at the 20th as well of um, September, but overall, just very bearish right now. Look for 529 to hold, though, um, here soon. Probably on the 9th, I would say. So next week, it's probably going to be the bottom. So I'm going to leave it at that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Quick review of the indexes. And uh, let's go make some money today. It's not the end of the world. I think that you're probably going to get a blow off top in QQQ in 2025 as well. But SPY, I'm still expecting that big move to 600+. plus. All right, that's it. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe for more updates, and catch you in the next video.